About Insects by Catherine and John Sill and read by Mr. C, the teacher. Insects have six legs. This is a picture of a dogbane leaf beetle. And three body parts. This insect is called a cow killer. They have a waterproof skeleton on the outside of their bodies. This is a picture of an elephant stag beetle. Young insects hatch from eggs. This is a picture of some praying mantis hatching. They go through several changes before becoming adults. This is a picture of a monarch butterfly. And it's chrysalis, it's caterpillar, it's butterfly stages. Antennae help insects smell and feel. This is Virginia stuchid moth. Some insects suck animals or plants to get nourishment. This is a black horsefly. Others bite and chew their food. This is a picture of a southeastern luber grasshopper. Many insects fly. These are white tails. Some crawl because they have no wings, like this giant walking stick. Others jump, like this gladiator caddy did. Or swim, like this small whirligig beetle. Insects live almost everywhere. This picture shows some silverfish. Some are active during the day, like this honeybee. Others are active only at night, like this picture of a luna moth. Some insects may be pests, like this German cockroach. But many are very helpful. This is a picture of convergent ladybug beetles. Insects are an important part of our world. There's a trout trying to catch a mayfly. In the afterword, we have more information. Insects are the most numerous of all animals. Over one million species have been identified, four times more than all other animals combined. There are nearly 100,000 species of insects in North America. Insects are anthro arthropods, which are animals with distinctive divided body parts, jointed legs and hard outer coating called an exoskeleton. Insects have three pairs of legs and three body parts. Dogbane leaf beetles discharge a foul-smelling secretion if caught. An insect's body is made up of three major parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The antennae, eyes, and mouth parts are located on the head. The legs and wings are attached to the thorax. The abdomen contains the digestive and reproductive systems. Cow killers are ant-like wasps that get their name from their painful sting. Insects have hard coverings called exoskeletons. Exo means outside. The insect's muscles are attached to the inner surface of the exoskeleton. Stag beetles get their name from their huge mandibles or jaws which resemble the antlers of a stag. 
Insects grow by a process called metamorphosis. Some insects, such as the praying mantis, develop by simple or incomplete metamorphosis. They go through three stages of growth, egg, nymph, and adult. An adult female praying mantis lays hundreds of eggs in large masses, covered with a protective foam that repels birds. Each egg hatches into a nymph, which resembles a small version of the adult. The nymph grows larger through a series of size changes until it reaches adulthood. Butterflies and many other insects develop by complete metamorphosis. They go through four distinct stages of development, egg, larvae, pupil, and adult. An adult lays an egg which produces a worm-like larva. The larva feeds and grows, then transforms into a pupa, which stays dormant for some periods of time. When development of the pupa is complete, an adult insect emerges. Monarch butterflies are the only butterflies that annually migrate both north and south. Insects smell, feel, and sometimes hear through sensory organs called antennae. Antennae are usually located on the front of the head. The structure of antennae varies greatly among insects. Virginia stenuchid moths have feathery antennae. Most flies have mouth parts that lap up liquids. Black horsefly females suck blood from large animals after slicing the skin with blade-like mouth parts. Males drink nectar from flowers. Insects that bite and chew their food do so by moving their mandibles from side to side. Southeastern lubber grasshoppers live on roadsides and field edges and in gardens where they feed on many kinds of leafy green plants. Most adult insects have two pairs of wings attached to the thorax. Some insects have only one pair of wings and some have no wings and are unable to fly. Dragonflies have four wings that move independently, enable them to fly backward as well as forward. Whitetails catch and eat small insects while in flight. Some insects mimic parts of the plant in which they live. The giant walking stick looks so much like a twig that it is easily overlooked by predators. Walking sticks are inactive during the day, but at night they move about, feeding on foliage. Powerful muscles in their hind legs enable some insects to be active jumpers. Gladiator catydids live in grasslands or along roadsides where they feed on grass. Beetles that live in lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams have paddle-shaped hind legs, especially adapted to help them swim. Small whirligig beetles often swim in circles on the surface of the ponds and streams where they live. They are also able to dive below the surface. Insects live in almost every environment except the ocean. They have not been able to adapt to life in salt water. Silverfish are found all over the world in warm, dark places where they eat clothing and dry foods and starch from book bindings. Honeybees are social insects. Many of them live together in large nests and work together to preserve the colony. A queen lays all the eggs for the colony. The workers are females and they maintain the hive and produce honey. The few male drones in each colony mate with the queen and then die. Most moths are nocturnal or active at night. Adult luna moths live for only a short time and do not feed. Adult luna moth caterpillars eat the foliage of several kinds of trees, including walnut, sweet gum, and birch. Luna moths are considered an endangered species because many have been killed by pollutants and insecticides. Insects can damage valuable crops and trees. Bites or stings from some insects can be irritating to mammals. Certain insects are responsible for spreading diseases. Others infest food supplies or destroy clothing and wooden structures. Cockroaches have an unpleasant odor and scavenge in homes, restaurants, and food factories. Many insects help humans by eating other insects that destroy crops. Ladybug larvae and adults eat aphids and other small insects. Farmers and gardeners often purchase ladybugs and release them near crops that are harmed by aphids. Insects are a crucial food source for many animals that are valuable to us. They pollinate many of the plants that provide food for us. Useful products such as honey, beeswax, and silk are produced by insects. Some people are fascinated by insects and enjoy observing their unique habits. <laughs>